Hey guys, Mr. Anyard here. Today we are going to be talking about graphing ordered pairs or plotting the ordered pairs on a four quadrant coordinate plane. So this is what a four quadrant, quadrant graph looks like. We've got our vertical axis and our horizontal axis, which can still be called X and Y. So I'm going to put a little X out here, put a little Y up here to represent the Y, and then we can talk about what positives and negatives have to do with this. So let's imagine for a moment this is the ocean, and we're going to graph it in four quadrants from our starting point, which would be right here. And then we are going to, let's say, look for a boat that is here, look for a boat that is here, look for a boat that is there, and look for a boat that is there. And so you can see each of these are kind of in a, a different section of the graph. So let's talk about now how to number our number lines. So I've zoomed in here to the middle, uh, to our zero point, and I want you to notice that this is zero. The intersection of the vertical and horizontal line would be where zero would be. And then we literally just have a horizontal number line and a vertical number line that stem positive and negative from zero. So we know that on the positive side of zero, the next dot is going to be a one, then a two, then a three, then a four, so on and so forth. And of course, it could be scaled by tens, fives, twos, however we need to, to according to the data. And then to the left of zero, everything less than zero is negative. So then we go negative one, negative two, negative three, and continue the same way we make number lines. And the vertical number line as well. When we go up, we are going positive, and when we go down, we are going negative. So how does that affect our points? So let's zoom back out here. Let's take a good look at our points. Let's start with quadrants. So quadrant one will always be in the top right corner where it is positive, positive. So this point will be in quadrant one. And then everything works counterclockwise on a coordinate plane. Don't ask me why, but you're welcome to look it up uh, and do some more research yourself. But quadrant one is here, and then when we go negative on horizontal, but still positive on the vertical, we are in quadrant two. So this point is quadrant two. So quadrant one, then counterclockwise, quadrant two. And down here will be quadrant three, and then quadrant four. And you, you see Roman numerals a lot, so that's why I use that. But this is a one, a two, a three, and a four. So again, we start in the top right, all positives. That's always quadrant one. And then we go counterclockwise, counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can see that all of our points in quadrant one will be positive and positive. All our points in quadrant two will be negative x, positive y. And then all our points in quadrant three will be negative, negative. And all our points in quadrant four will be positive, negative. So that's how the x and the y relate to each other in a four quadrant coordinate plane according to the four quadrants. So the next step is just writing the ordered pair, which would be what this is up here. This is an ordered pair. So it's a parenthesis, then the x-coordinate, comma to separate the numbers, the y-coordinate, and a parenthesis. You do need the parentheses, you do need the comma, and then the two numbers to match how far over and then how far up or down we go to get to the point. So I always start with my x, x comes before y, horizontal comes before vertical, h before v. Um, so we're gonna start at zero, always, and we're gonna go across, either this way or this way to our point, and since we're gonna go here first, let's go to the right. And you can see I need to go nine spaces to the right until I get to the line that intersects with the point. So my x coordinate is nine. And that's positive because I went to the right. So then my next uh, direction would be to go up since it is above the line. One, two, three, four, five, six. So where my nine X line and my six y, uh, y line intersect is where my point is. So this point is at nine, 
6. And looking over here, we're now in quadrant 2, which means we're going to end up going left to get to it, and then we're going to go up to get to it. So remember, horizontal is always first. So you can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like and try to figure out where the point is, and then check back with me. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces left until I get to that line. So my x-coordinate will be negative 6. And then my y-coordinate will be up from there, and that's 7 up. So that is going to be positive 7. So the ordered pair for this point is negative 6, 7. Again, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can name this point in quadrant 3. We start at 0, we go 9 spaces to the left, then we go down 7 spaces. So my ordered pair here is negative 9, negative 7. And last one, see if you can find this point's ordered pair. So I start at 0, I go 5 to the right, and I go down 7. So my ordered pair is 5, negative 7. And so you can see all of the points, how they work is positive, positive, negative, positive, negative, negative in quadrant 3, and positive, negative in quadrant 4. And as long as you always remember that x comes before y, then finding points or coordinates on a four-quadrant coordinate plane becomes very simple. Start at 0. You decide left or right, depending on where the point is. Write that number down with the parenthesis first. Then you will go up or down according to where the point is. After you put your comma, write that number, and then at your end parenthesis. And that's how you write your ordered pairs for points on a four-quadrant coordinate grid. All right, so last thing I want to do is give you a chance to check yourself. So remember, it's x, y which is how far across, then how far up and down. We write it like this with the parentheses and the comma between the first number and the second number. So first thing is I have this little fish here. See my little guy? He's in the ocean. All right, you tell me what quadrant he's in right now. Okay, so this was quadrant three. All right, and let's move him now over here. What quadrant is he in now? All right, he is in quadrant one. And how about now? He is in quadrant four. And how about now? That's right, he is in quadrant two. So I didn't use Roman numerals there, but you get the picture. So now go ahead and quiz yourself by trying to find these points. And oh, I understand that the uh, vertical line is not directly on here, but assume that it is. All right, so this white line and this black line are supposed to be touching. Um, but I can't really seem to move it now. So there you go. Try and find it, points A through F. And I'm going to show them all at the same time. So pause the video, find all the points, then play the video for the points. Okay, well, here you go. Pause the video and take a look at the points. See how you did. Uh, don't forget about these zeros. Remember, if I don't go any left or right, that is 0, x, and then negative 7 down, or 7 down, which is negative 7. And then this one, I went 9 across, but then I did not go up or down at all. Uh, so it's 9, 0. Well, I hope that helps you find ordered pairs on a coordinate plane, um, remembering also where the four quadrants are, starting in the top right corner of positive, positive, and then working counterclockwise, um, as well as how to write ordered pairs using a uh, parenthesis, x, comma, y, parenthesis, making sure that uh, your positives and your negatives line up with terms like up, down, left, and right, of course, starting left and right, and then up and down, horizontal before vertical, x before y. All right, thanks for stopping by my class. Have a good day. I'm about to go be
this road. From the streets of Cali down to Argentina, I keep rappers on their toes like.